Okay, let's um, provide a solution to this problem. We have C plus D equals 10. This is our equation 1. Before I continue, if you're new here, subscribe so you can get more of my videos. So we have in C, D equals 10 as well. This becomes equation 2. Remember that C, D here is the same as C times D. But the first one is C plus D. So now what we will do is to make um, C the subject in equation 3. So our C will be 10 minus D. So this becomes equation 3. Okay, sorry, this shouldn't be equal sign. Okay, so from here now, we can put equation 3 into this equation 2, right? Because equation 3 is formed from um, our equation 1. In place of this C, I'll write 10 minus D. Then this D here will appear, and that is equal to 10. So D times 10 will give us 10D, minus D times D will give D squared. This is equal to 10. What if I decide to write D squared first? So write negative D squared. Do not forget to pick this negative. Then we have plus 10d. And um, this becomes minus 10. Everything is zero because there's no there's nothing at the right hand side now. Now the next thing is to remove this negative. It's either you multiply everything by negative one or you divide everything by negative one. So if we do that, we're going to have d squared here. This will turn to negative 10d, and this will turn to positive 10. Everything is equal to 0. Now, what do we do? We'll use, um, we're going to use the formula method for this. So, we're looking for d, so d becomes the subject of the formula, and is equal to, okay, negative b, positive or negative, square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a now the next target is what to be the value of a b c a is the coefficient that is here b is this minus 10 and c is this 10 the constant okay so our d squared will now be equal to minus b in place of minus b, we'll write negative, negative 10. This negative is here. b itself is minus 10. Plus or minus, then we have square root of b squared. b squared is still negative 10. And we square it. Then minus 4 times a is 1 times c. And our c is 10. Okay, so we divide all of this by 2 times 1 knowing that our a is 1 so our d okay by the way um how did i write d squared because i have squared here i squared this and that is not correct so this is not really there this is not there so it's ordinary d okay so let's continue the square is no longer there and this is how it is so d will be equal to negative negative will give positive then plus or minus then we have minus 10 squared that will give um, 100 minus 4 times 1 times 10 that will give um, 40 then we divide this by 2 times 1 that is 2 so that our d will now be 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40 is 60 so we divide this by 2 but then there's something we'll do now we let's break this down let's bring out the um the perfect square that's a factor of 60 
Okay, so the highest perfect square that's a factor of 60 is 4. So that means we're going to write D to be equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 4. 4 times what will give us 60? It's 4 times 15. Then we divide by 2. Now let's find the square root of 4. Then only 15 will be under the, under the root. So D now will be equal to, we have 10 plus or minus square root of 4 here. We'll give 2. Then we have root 15. Then we divide this by 2. 2 will go there. We have um, D equals 2 into 10 is 5. Then plus or minus 2 into 2 is gone. So we have root 15. And this is a two in one solution. So we will conclude that D is equal to five plus root 15 or five minus root 15. But remember that we had um, C in the equation. So we'll go back and put this into equation three where C is the, uh, um, the subject. Let's look at it, our equation 3, our equation 3, look at it here, C equals 10 minus D, so let's go there. Okay, so the first value of D is this, so let's put it there, our C now will be 10 minus, open brackets, D is 5 um, plus root 15. Okay, let's deal with this first. So our C now will be 10 minus 5. Negative, positive is negative. We have root 15. So our C will be 10 minus 5 is 5. Then negative square root of 15. Right, so remember that when C is 5 minus root 15, our D is 5 plus root 15 okay so let's go to the second value of d um c is still 10 minus um 10 minus d so this time around c will be 10 minus d now will be 5 minus root 15 so if this is the case, our C will be 10 minus 5. Negative, negative is positive. Then we have root 15. So now C is equal to 10 minus 5 is 5. Then plus root 15. Okay, so we are also saying that when C is 5 plus root 15, our D is 5 minus root 15. Okay, so by this, we have solved the problem completely. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get more of my videos.